Add these brands to your bolo list. Welcome back to my channel, it's Jasmine. For those who are new, I am a full-time nurse working in Ontario, Canada, but I also like to resell on the US and Canadian Poshmark app as well as eBay. For today's video, I wanted to do a Bolo Brands list. Uh, if you don't know what Bolo stands for, it means be on the lookout for when you're outsourcing. Most of the time, thrift stores aren't aware of these brands. Unlike Lululemon, North Face, etc., they mark up those prices a lot. Hopefully these brands are on the down low and you can pick them up for a decent price and be able to flip them for great profit. If you like videos like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So the first brand that I wanted to talk about, and I'm sure you guys already know, is Christy Dawn. Christy Dawn is a fashion designer who incorporates a lot of vintage expired looks for her pieces. Um, I personally really like her pieces, but I've never found any um, myself. Hopefully I can one day. So her vintage inspired pieces are really classic and timeless and people really like this style. The next brand I'm going to talk to you about is Bellamy, specifically Bellamy in collaboration with H&M. H&M by itself, usually I don't pick up or they don't resell for very high, but their collaboration pieces tend to do a lot better. Specifically, um, Bellamy is a very luxurious brand. They retail for quite a bit and their resale value is pretty good as well. If you've never heard of Balmain specifically, it was founded by a man named Olivier Roustin. I'm probably butchering it, but I'll just spell it out on the bottom. And he's a French fashion designer. So I believe he made a total of 109 pieces in this collaboration. So it's not very likely that you would find this in the thrift store, but when I was doing my research for this video, this was one of the brands that had popped up, so I decided to include it in this video. The third brand I'm going to talk to you about is Pose or Pose maybe. It is a brand founded in Australia and it is also vintage inspired, similar to Christy Dawn, but it's more geared towards like summer, vacation, weather kind of style. I personally really like this brand as well because it gives really good like vacation relaxation vibes so whenever we get a chance to actually do that this is the perfect style for that the next brand i'm going to talk about i'm sure you've already heard as well but it is veronica beard veronica beard made its debut i think around 2012 at the new york fashion week and since then it's probably blown up exponentially the style is mainly career wear i'd say it's specifically very well known for um, a specific style of blazer where the liner is interchangeable, but other styles have then been become quite popular as well. The next brand I'm going to talk to you about is Love Shack Fancy. So it first started, I think, around 2013, where it began in a lot of boutiques. Eventually, as it gained a following, it became quite popular. Its style is also quite vintage inspired. If you look at their pieces and styles, you can definitely tell that it is very girly um, with like soft fabric, silhouettes, and like silks, kind of like a fairy tale. It is founded by Rebecca Cohen, and she first was designing bridesmaid dresses for her own wedding, and then her designs kind of expanded from there. So the next brand that I'm going to talk to you about is Lululemon. So if you've seen a few of my other videos before, you know that I love Lululemon, I love wearing it, and I love reselling it. But specifically, there are pieces of Lululemon that are worth more than others. When I resell Lululemon, I can get a fairly decent price for it, but there are specific styles and patterns that are worth a lot more than their retail price. For example, there are the pieces that are from the Seawees collection, if you want to know how to recognize the seaweed collection, you just have to look at the own symbol because it kind of looks a little different. There are kind of like a little bit more design surrounding the own symbol. And from that, you can tell that's from the seaweed collection. There are also certain patterns that are worth more than others. For example, there are these seaweed bugs uh, speed shorts. And not only are they from the seaweed collection, but the print is also rare as well. So the next brand that I want to talk about is Magnolia Pearl. This is founded by Robin Brown, who lives in Texas, and again, her style is very vintage-inspired with a lot of 
um, layered looks, um, fabrics, and laces. So I didn't really notice this before when I was making this list, but I just realized that all of these are pretty much vintage inspired, which shows that vintage looks are quite popular at this time. So we don't really need to find these specific brands, but if you have an eye for a lot of vintage looks and styles, um, I'm sure that a lot of your pieces would be able to do quite well. Another brand that I want to talk to you about is Good American. So this brand is founded by Emma Greed and Khloe Kardashian. Their style is mainly to kind of empower women to make them feel quite good and confident in the clothing that they wear. I have picked up this brand before. It was a pair of active wear leggings and they sold pretty fast, I think within a week. Um, and they sold for $60, which isn't bad. I'm not sure how well their clothing pieces do, but I know their active wear as well as their jeans do quite well. The next brand I want to talk about is Moosey or Mousey. This company has been around since 2000, but was first only in Japan where it was first branded. Eventually it expanded to the States in 2016, and since then the company just exploded and is quite popular now. So I'm not sure how well their other clothing pieces do, but they are basically well known for their denim. And the last brand that I want to talk about in this video is Jessie Cam. Jessie Cam is an independent fashion designer who founded Jessie Cam. Her brand is really well known for good quality basics and sustainability. One of her more popular styles are the sailor pants, which are kind of wide like culottes. They do retail for around $400 US. So since people are really into the minimalist and capsule style wardrobe at the moment, Jessie Cam's style is really sought after and her brand can resell for quite a bit, even between $200 and $300. So that concludes today's video. I hope you learned something new. And even if we aren't able to find these brands in the thrift stores or when we're outsourcing, if you just browse these styles, you'll be able to see what people are kind of looking for and what is popular. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!